Hello everyone and welcome to A Slice of My Life and it is mail call time all the way from Hong Kong from a man named Jason Chong and when you see this name you already know this is by Vin and Labs. I know exactly what's inside this package but I wanted to capture the unboxing process so I could show you guys basically because you've already read the video title by now you know what this video is about. So here we go let's crack this package open and let's just jump right into it. We have two items here. One is very light and one is very heavy. Let's open up the heavy one first because this one is not the focus of this video. Let's check it out. Sonda Serial 301. It is a prototype of the stainless steel slim Sonda made in July 2018. And this is what it looks like. Looks pretty good. I like this finish. I wish. All Saunders had this finish. This is like a machine finish. Look at that. Just for comparison, this is the original sized Saunders. This one is in stainless steel as well. And originally, it was offered in bead blasted finish. So, that's the size difference guys. Like about two thirds of the previous Saunders size. Okay, let's get this out of the frame because this is going to be about whatever's inside this box. I'm keeping the original Saunders here because we're probably going to compare it to what's inside here. And this everyone is serial number 363 of a purple turbo glow sonder produced october 2018 which is this month and here we go wow i've never seen turbo glow in real life so this is quite cool oh i just realized that he has my initials here benko that's pretty cool thanks jason so i'll put the box here and i will leave the coa up here and this, guys, first of all, was going for $180. I know some people are asking how they could get their hands on one of these, and this was actually a short pre-order run. So it was $180, and if I'm not wrong, every single Turbo Glow color was offered, and I chose purple. The reason why I chose purple is because purple is the only Turbo Glow, I don't know if there's any now, but at least at the point of time, it was the only Turbo Glow resin color that did not show purple in its non-glowing state. So you guys can see it looks like white or slightly grayish so that's the main reason why i got purple because i love the fact that it looks kind of natural this way and then it glows purple we have the original sonda here and when we look at the side profile we could see that the turbo glow version is slimmer than the original version so this one is based off the slim sonda now i'm gonna undo the buttons and let's check out what's under the hood there we go so yes, everyone, this is a R188 bearing. Got a bit of dirt here. I think I could just clean it off. It looks like it would just come off just by a little bit of scratching. So it could be, uh, you know, from the machining process. I think some residue left over. Looks like some kind of oil or some kind of a water residue. I could just easily wipe it off. Having a look at the buttons, these are two halves of the same button held in together by a set screw. And the reason why this is done or this has to be done is because this is Turbo Glow. It is a resin and Resin gets very, very brittle once you get into small, thin sizes like this. So there's always the possibility that if this was made, you know, like a dedicated male and female button, that if you were to screw it too tight, the whole threading would just snap off and just leave you with useless buttons, you know? So I think that was a good call by Jason and Vinan Lab. So this really is something that cannot be helped. So looking at the inside, I love the fact that it is so nicely machined. Everything is just beautifully done. There are some machining marks, but everything is just very, very well finished. And one thing that I want to mention to you guys, just in case you're not aware of it, Turbo Glow is actually produced by someone else. So it actually is sold as a either a cylinder style or a disc style. And then you have to machine it out because, you know, it's easy for you to just use resin and cast it. And since Turbo Glow is a resin, it's easy to get that misconception or that premonition but it is not and so in my opinion the machining of this is wonderful it is super on point it is very very light though after all it is turbo glow it is a resin definitely i think it'll be lighter than say even titanium probably about the same weight as if this was made in aluminum you know so here we go first spin time let's see how this thing handles oh that's nice that's really cool huh Wow, hey, the spin's not bad. I expected it to have stopped by now. <laughs> so that's cool. The spin feedback reminds me a little bit of the radioactive X and Y that was offered by Spinetics. If you guys are not familiar with that, those were some really awesome plastic spinners. But this one reminds me a little bit of that in terms of the spin feedback and resonance. 
But handling wise, this feels just like a Sonder. It's so comfortable in hand. You know, all the traits of the Sonder. Technically, this is my first time handling a Sonder Slim. And for me, I already am a fan of the Sonder. I love the original sized Sonder. I like the weight, I like the shape. And this one offers the same kind of ergonomics, the same feel overall in a slimmer profile. Of course, much lighter. Still maintaining that super high fit stability that the Sonder has to offer. And I've been waiting quite a while for this. There was some delays, you know, uh, because I think, um, was it in July or August, maybe? I think uh, Hong Kong was hit pretty bad by a typhoon. So a lot of workshops, a lot of businesses shut down for quite a while and that caused this delay for the Turbo Glow Sonder. But it's worth the wait. I really like this. I just got to clean it up a little bit because some of those dark marks are, uh, I guess, <laughs> getting me a little bit, you know, it's my OCD talking. Now, next, what I'm going to do is take out the stubby so that you guys can see the size comparison of this against a stubby. In terms of the diameter and width-wise, it is the same as the Sonder, just that it is not as thick as the original Sonder. But yes, here you go, size comparison for you. And what I'm going to do now is grab my UV light Give this guy a quick charge and let's show off that purple glow because that's what all of you have been waiting for. Here is my little UV light. Yes, this is technically a nail polish UV light, but if it works, it works, right? So here we go. Just charge this guy a little bit. I kind of want to see if it glows under this lighting setup. That's about like 15 seconds. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Wow. This is a huge surprise, guys. This is now purple. Look at the flip side. <laughs> wow, Turbo Glow really glows bright. What the heck? That's dope. That's really, really dope. I'm gonna try and turn off this light, half of it, and see if that works. No, it doesn't really help much. Okay, I'm gonna leave it charging for a little bit while I shut off this light right here. There we go. So I've only got the light from the ceiling now, not from this rig. Let's see how well this thing glows. Wow. Are you guys seeing this? This is crazy. Oh, wow. This glow is... Oh, goodness. This glow is awesome. This is like some backlighting illumination stuff. Look at that. Wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. The allure of Turbo Glow is real. This poison is crazy. Look at that. Turbo Glow really glows so bright. So like I said earlier, this is my first time handling Turbo Glow, but I've heard like, you know, it's properties of being able to hold the charge or the phosphorence for a long, long time. I don't know how long exactly, but I'm going to say that this thing is glowing like crazy. This is nuts. Okay, it's pretty out of this world. Yeah, it's, it's nuts. It's cool. It's cool. I'm really, really happy with this. And the fact that it could glow still, even with this lighting setup here, this is crazy. Okay, I'm going to turn the lights back on and I'm going to end this video. There we go, guys. Turbo Glow. Sonder. In purple. <laughs> this is so strange. This is so strange. Uh, basically, this isn't a review, everyone. I just wanted to showcase that this is a thing. You know, um, I know that some of you probably want to get your hands on one of these now after you see this video. I'm not so sure if Jason or Vinan Labs will ever make another run of these. I guess we'll only be able to tell if there is high enough of a demand for this, you know? Because yeah, he basically sold out. So yeah, everyone, uh, this was a little bit expensive. It was on pre-order. This is serial number 363. Proud owner of a Turbo Glow Sonder Slim in purple. And that's about it, everyone. I just wanted to share this slice of my life with you guys because, you know, I always do anyway. And if you have any questions, guys, just leave a comment and you know I will get back to you. But I will also put links in the description box just in case you guys are interested in finding out a little bit more about Vinan Labs. I mean, by now, you know, Vinan Labs is no stranger to you guys. I just don't know if this will ever be made in another run. Uh, stay tuned for the next video, which should be about the Saunders Slim that Jason sent to me because you guys saw it in the earlier part of this video. And that's about it, everyone. Thank you so much for sharing in the slice of my life. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that I provided enough information to help you. Well, I can't really say that line in this case, so I apologize, but I do hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks always for the support and I'll catch all of you in the next slice of my life. So until then, everyone, purple 
Turbo Glow is pretty awesome on first impressions. And maybe I might look into getting a little bit more Turbo Glow items, I'm not so sure. Tritium, Turbo Glow, man. Expensive hobbies. <laughs> Gaga boots.